Hey folks, here's a little window into the cataclysm of climate science over the last year. Try starting a conversation with someone about how miserably modern climate models do when used to reconstruct the past. The two key papers on paleoclimate disagreement from 2020 and 2021 so far appear in Nature and Geophysical Research Letters, and they tell us that climate models are far too sensitive to CO2 and human forcing, leading to lower estimates of future warming. If they have time, you can discuss how this is due to bias in the atmospheric response to carbon dioxide and in the uncertainty of aerosol forcing in clouds. Any respectable climate scientist knows the literature and 2020 saw a flood of papers on that topic. But for the layman, perhaps they already know, we had record drops in pollution, both carbon dioxide and aerosol particles, due to the global lockdowns. But what they may not know is that the world got sharply warmer because of it, beyond a mere statistical blip. And they show the longer we shut down pollution, the longer the warming continues. Analysis revealed the cooling power of aerosols was greater than the power of carbon dioxide, and that general cuts to pollution actually warm the planet. Our pollution is a cooling factor. So it's now easier to come back to aerosol and cloud uncertainty as being underappreciated, or was it that the warming power of CO2 was biased upward? Then hit them with the fact that Earth has safeguard mechanisms even for idiot species like us. You melt the polar ice, the oceans get cooler and fresher. The currents and overturning circulation that drives heat transport weaken, and it is easier to freeze in its cool, less saline state. And this can be triggered by either pole, by the way. Those journals were geology, science, and nature. Perhaps at this time they are willing to hear about the record high solar activity of the last century or the record low cooling from volcanoes. The former ending already and the latter is past due, coming together in the time of global warming. When we think about the cold record still falling, the snow record still falling, in just the last two weeks, China and Spain saw unreal record-breaking cold and snow. This week, the hottest part of the world got hit with snow, and while the locals cheered the flurries at the edge of the freezing mark, it is lost on nobody how contradictive all the things we've seen in this video are to what we're told about climate change. So let's review. Climate models fail when compared to the past reconstructions. The identification of those failures in carbon bias and aerosol uncertainty met a crescendo when the world stopped and found out what really happens when we stop polluting. As is, the melting polar ice is going to trigger an ice age, and any claims that it's not going to happen this time because CO2 is going to overpower it, well, they still have to face the proof of its bias and its incompatibility with paleoclimate scenarios. The clouds and aerosols are forced by the sun and volcanoes, and they have impressively pushed for warming over the last 100 years. We are already seeing that cold and snow records aren't going away. We are getting the full picture of the problems in climate science, and we are seeing why this trend will hit a tipping point threshold for an ice age.